How are you guys doing today? <laughs> you guys can't tell I'm wearing the same outfit as I was in my last YouTube video. Um, today, I want to address something that has been constantly, has had me, um, you know, a little upset. I can't lie to you guys. Uh, it's been bothering me a little bit, and I just want to, you know, share the story with you guys. Um, uh, as you guys may know, and if you're a dude and you're watching this video, and you you don't like me, you're, you're wasting your time. Go out the door, uh, because this is a serious video, and it's a serious matter, and it's something that it means a lot to me, um, and it's, it's changed my life. Um, if you guys don't know, we started a tour called MadCon, and um, it started out as just me and my friends traveling America meeting our fans and having a great time, you know. Um, during this process, I really never fully understood the way that we impacted girls' lives. Uh, I never understood exactly how much I affected girls' lives. Like, girls would go on the internet and I would make them laugh and happy and zone them out from, you know, the real problems in their lives. Uh, I never fully understood that until um, we had an event in Orlando, and I met this girl named Megan Campbell, um, a beautiful girl. <laughs> she had a beautiful smile, and she was awesome, you know, full of light. And I remember her telling me, you know, you made me so happy, and you're the reason that I'm able to stay strong. And I was like, I thank you so much. And um, about two months about not even a month after that, I, uh, I go on my Twitter and uh, someone uh, tweeted me a link. And I, I opened up the link and it said something about Megan Campbell and her whole family. Um, basically that um, it was her dad, I don't really want to talk about you know the trauma of the death, but basically she was shot in the face by her dad. Um, and um, I realized then, at that time, and if you guys follow me on social media, I'm constantly posting about her because the way that it has affected my life. Um, I never really realized, you know, what, what some people are going through. Um, I, can only I can only imagine what she was going through um, at home. My life wasn't the greatest growing up. Um, I had an abusive dad and a, a mom who loved drugs and uh, stuff that I, it, it hurts me to talk about. But I've learned through Megan's death that you never know what anyone's going through. And you, you should never judge someone without truly knowing who they are because what you say could affect anyone. When Megan told me, you know, that I made her happy and that I, you know, I never thought about it again. I just went along with my day. I never took in, you know, I never thought, you know, what is she really going through? And then to see what I seen, I cried for days. And I still cry. You know, knowing that I made her happy through everything that she could have been going through, it, it's amazing to me, you know, that, that I was able to make someone happy, you know, to know what she was going through. I don't know what she was going through, but I can only imagine through the, her dad shooting her entire family in the face and burning her house down. Gives you an example of what maybe she could have been going through. And it shined a light that I feel like she's not the only one. And I want to let you guys know that no matter what you see on the internet about me, what people say, that, that I love you guys. And I care about you guys more than I care about my own self. Um, the way that her death has affected me has made me realize that I never take life for granted. 
as me saying that, for any of you guys going through a rough time right now, self-harm is not the answer. It is not. I promise you that there is someone who loves you. And I love you. And I don't want any of you guys to hurt yourselves because it hurts me. Um, and I just want you guys to know that don't listen to what people say because constantly people are going to want to bring you down. You know, if I listened to what people said about me and I truly took it in, I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't. During a day, I go on my Instagram, I go on my Twitter, and someone's telling me to kill myself or telling me that I'm uh, a worthless SOB or that I'm, I'm pathetic and I'm a nothing. And that's just the way this generation is. It's people who, who, who love to make other people feel like shit. And I've never learned to understand that. I don't get it. You gotta learn to love yourself and believe in yourself. And if you have a dream, do it. Just fucking do it. I'm not shy about this, but just fucking do it. If you have a dream, there is nobody stopping you. Literally. I had one dream. That was to be able to travel America at the time. My dream has now changed. The dreams change. My dream now is to help teenage girls get through what they want to get through. And that's what my YouTube channel is going to turn into. I know with making this decision, I'm not going to be looked at as the cool kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be looked at as the, as the little, little kid that, you know, you know, whatever. I ain't going to look at as the hard kid. You know what I'm saying? The cool kid. Um, but nothing makes me more happier than seeing you guys happy. And I want to be here for you guys. That's why I've set my banner up here. I put my chair down here. I've aimed my camera, my laptop right here, is because I want to be here for you guys. And I want to be able to make videos for you guys to help you guys out with any situations. So I want you guys to comment below anything that you guys are going through, and I'm going to try to address them as much as I can. Uh, I've personally been through a lot. I've, you know, I've dealt with, you know, family with the drug use, uh, not having a place to stay, uh, not having a bed under my, under my body. Not having a roof above my head. I've dealt with all of that. Um, and I just want you guys to know that I love every single one of you guys, no matter what you read on the internet about me. Uh, I literally Googled myself the other day, and I found more negative things, and I found not positive things myself. And it does hurt. It does upset me. I'm not one to lie. It upsets me. But I'm not going to let it affect me. And I'm not going to let it change me. I'm going to let people know that that isn't me. I'm, I'm not a douchebag. And, and no matter what Tyler Oakley or Lo Anthony or whatever those dudes say about me, they don't know who the fuck I am. Those kids have never literally ever met me. And Tyler Oakley, I got one message for you, dude. And I'm strong about this, dude. Why do you love to constantly bring people down? Why do you love to try to ruin people's careers? Me, Nash, Carter, Cameron, all of us, dude. You go out and you go in needles and you pick little things out of our lives that we have messed up and made mistakes because everyone makes mistakes and you put them on blast on your social media site to all of your followers and try to get us hate. You're not a cool dude, dude. You're not. And karma will get you, man. Karma will honestly get you. You don't realize how much stress you put me through by saying that I'm a homophobic. Dude, you don't fucking know me, dude. I'm not homophobic at all. At all, dude. You don't know me, dude. At all. That video I made was when I was 15 years old, dude. You don't understand what I was going through when I was 15 years old, man. You need to keep your opinions to yourself. You need to stop acting like you own the internet. And I'm just being straightforward, dude. And, 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 it, and you going around and being in all these bully campaigns, dude, you're the number one bully on the internet, dude. You call everyone out for their one little mistake. Why don't you mind your own business? 
why don't you pay attention to yourself? I'm getting a little bit off topic, but dude, that's something I believe strongly in, and I don't care. And to you, Anthony, dude, stop, stop not even everyone's little mistakes they made. Everyone makes mistakes, dude. You make mistakes, but I ain't gonna go out there and call you out, dude. That's as simple as it is. You guys have tried to kill my career. You guys, you guys, I feel like you guys almost want me to cry myself to sleep at night. But it ain't working. Because I don't give a fuck what you guys have to say about me. And I love myself. I love who I became. And I've learned from those mistakes. And I felt like I shouldn't have had to learn the way I learned. And I hope you guys one day grow up and learn to apologize for the things you've done. I literally had to call you a fuckboy and tell you to leave me alone through the internet. Dude, I've never came at you once, dude. Every single time you've came at me. Not once did I ever go out of my way and go pick out your mistakes, dude. Ever. You literally lied to the internet. You can't even be real to yourself and admit your sexuality. You hid it for I don't know how long, dude. I've been honest with everything I've ever done. And who knows what else you're lying about, dude. But I'm done with that. I want to let you guys know that I love you, and I hope you see this, Tyler, and I hope you know that you should never judge anyone, especially if you have that large of a following. I hope you remember that, man. But I love you guys, and I continue to hope to make videos. Leave any comments you guys have. I love you guys to death, and you guys are the reason that this smile is on my face. And um, I don't know what to say. I love you guys so much, and uh, I'll see you either in a few days probably. Love you. And by the way, my Snapchat is at Taylor Kniff, uh, because a lot of you guys have been wondering. Um, and I'm not going to edit this video because you only have to make edits if you mess up and everything I said was real.